Welcome to Datasp, the interactive data analysis and graphical display software. This demonstration will provide an overall understanding of how to analyze and display data in Datasp. Let's start the demonstration by displaying some data in Window 1. You can do so by right mouse clicking Window 1, then select Series, and finally Open Series. You will be asked to select a dataset, which is a multi-channel database. Select the Run 1.1 dataset. Within the Run 1.1 dataset, there are multiple channels. Select Analog 1. The Analog 1 channel is now displayed in Window 1. Datas provides over 1,000 analysis functions to analyze your data. For this demonstration, we'll start by performing a moving average of the data in Window 1. We'll need to place the results of the moving average in Window 2, so let's select Window 2. Many of our functions are accessible through the Function Wizard. You can access the Function Wizard by pressing the F of X button in the toolbar. The Function Wizard organizes Datas functions within analysis categories. The Moving Average function is in the Math category, so we will select Math. We'll then select the Moving Average function in the Function Name section. The Moving Average dialog box allows you to specify the input series, number of points to average, and an option to ramp up end segments. We'll use the default settings and press the OK button. The result of the moving average is now in Window 2. As you can see, the moving average has a smoothing effect. To compare the original data in Window 1 with the smoothed data in Window 2, you can overplot by selecting View in the menu bar, then select Overplot. The Overplot dialog box allows you to choose the series that you want to overplot, the color of the overplot, and an option to add to Window Formula. This option maintains the overplot when new data is placed into Window 1. Let's enable the Add to Window Formula option, then press the OK button. Window 2 now displays the comparison of the original data and the moving average result. Datasp also allows you to type formulas into the command line editor. Just select a window and start typing. Let's select Window 3 and type the formula to multiply Window 2 with itself. W2 times W2 and hit Enter. The result of the formula W2 times W2 is displayed in Window 3. Notice that the vertical units in Window 3 have changed. Datasp performs an automatic unit conversion. Window 2 has units of vaults, and Window 3 has units of vaults squared. Now let's select Window 4 for the final analysis. Here, we'll perform the derivative of the data in Window 3. We'll need to access the function wizard again. To do so, press the F of X button in the toolbar. Now let's select the derivative function. We want to perform the derivative on the data in Window 3, so let's click the drop-down box for the input series. Now select W3, and then finally press the OK button. The result of the derivative is now in Window 4. Again, notice the automatic unit conversion. Now Datasp also has spreadsheet characteristics. If you update the data window with new data, all the other dependent windows will update automatically. This can be extremely helpful if you're processing many channels of data. To demonstrate the spreadsheet abilities, let's right-click on Window 1, our data window, select Series, then Open Series. Let's select the data set Run 1.1 again, and this time we'll select Analog 2 for our new data. Notice that all of the windows automatically update the second you place new data into the data window. The worksheet can now be saved as an analysis template for future use. This demonstration was intended to provide an introduction to Datasp. There are over 1,000 engineering, scientific, and mathematical analysis functions in Datasp. There are many different graph styles as well. Please contact us if you have any questions regarding Datasp or any of our other products. And thank you for taking the time to view this presentation.